Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Um, as you just saw, Elfie is in a rocket ship today. <laughs> I guess she wants to go to outer space or something. Anyways, as you saw, I gave comment to Maisie today to cuddle with and give some love. And um, today, it's not much going on. I've just been relaxing watching a bit of YouTube. Um, I was gonna start with some Christmas wrapping today, but editing my vlog from yesterday uh, took like almost all afternoon. It was a really, it was a lot of footage to edit because we had um, footage from the two Christmas light shows that we went to. So it was a lot of editing and chopping things down and um also like being careful trying to like cut out any music that could be copywritten and replacing it with other music and all that good stuff and um so anyways it's currently uploading so i'm sure by the time you see this video um yesterday's video will already have been up for you guys to see and i hope that you all enjoyed it um i really loved going to see all the Christmas lights. It was a lot of fun. We had a really good day. Um, there was a couple things that I forgot to show you in yesterday's video, which is kind of what I wanted to mainly focus on today. So let me go and show you. Um, we got another Christmas card. I can't remember if I did show you guys this one or not, but this is from uh, an old high school friend of mine. Her name is Andrea. And I think that was pretty much it in terms of Christmas cards. And then we got another birthday card in the mail yesterday. So it was this one. And this was also from Monica, who also sent us a Christmas card the other day. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to show you guys is I put Mary Ellen in her new dress that Alex got me for my birthday. So let's go have a look at that. So there's Mary Ellen wearing her new dress. So she's got the pink barrette that it came with and I took her hair out of her ponytail and brushed it all out and made it look all nice and wavy. She has a bit of a wave to her hair naturally. Here's the beautiful dress. It's like a ball gown and it's so gorgeous. I love it. Look at the detailing and then the little shoes and I love her mitts. Her lacy mitts are so cute so she is all decked out and I feel like this could be a, a nice dress to wear for Christmas even if it's not Christmas colors um, I may or may not put her in her Christmas dress this year I don't know so there's that I still have some I still have to get most of my American Girl dolls out of their Halloween stuff that'll probably happen at some point this week so a few weeks ago, Indigo had an American Girl sale, and then I had something else. I think they sent me some kind of coupon or something to do with my rewards points. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I got like a good percentage off of this outfit. So um, it made it like really inexpensive. So this is... Um, it came today in the mail and this is Julie's birthday outfit. It's a new outfit that they released a couple months ago. So I'm going to open it up. I'm excited about it. Um, okay, so it's kind of in there. There's some plastic. So it's got this big brim, blue brimmed hat. It's got a little bow kind of thing or a ribbon on it it's quite large um i know that i put my american girl outfits uh in ziploc bags to store but a lot of the ones that come with big hats like this um it's too bulky so i usually store the hats separate in an and like in a separate drawer because they're just so big and you can't really fold them or anything so let's see um so this is the dress. It's really, really pretty purple. Now remember, um, Julie's from 1974. 
and this is a real kind of hippie summery dress it's purple and it's got orange blue and pink and yellow flowers all over the skirt and it has yellow and green and blue leaves and the top part is sort of like an eyelet kind of material that's purple and it ties around the neck it's so pretty I'm gonna love this for the summertime and then um, comes with a little brochure let's look at that in a second I wanted to show you the little sandals that it comes with so they're just little flip-flop style sandals they're like a brown fake leather and then they have an embroidered white flower on each thing and then it's got like a little brown elastic that goes around the heel to keep the shoes on and her brochure says Julie 1974 and it shows Julie wearing her birthday dress and she is sitting in her egg chair and she's opening her birthday presents which you can buy as a separate set and it comes with um, uh, a lava lamp and a magic eight ball a pet rock and I thought there was something else maybe it'll stay inside pet rock eight ball lava lamp oh maybe that's it um, so yeah, it's, uh, it just talks about for her birthday, for her birthday, Julie invites her family and friends to celebrate at the beach so that they can all watch the release of the bald eagles that Julie had raised money for. The eagles were injured and Julie helped feed and care for them until they could fly again. After the eagle release and a barbecue on the beach, Julie opened her gifts, a lava lamp, a magic eight ball, oh, a mood ring, and a pet rock. Oh, is she wearing it? Is she wearing the mood ring? Oh, there's the mood ring. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if she can actually wear the mood ring. That would be awesome. Um, ah, hard to do it one-handed. Sorry, guys. So it says, when Julie was growing up in the 70s, fashions had become very relaxed. Girls wore whatever they were in the mood to wear. A girl might wear a mini skirt one day, jeans or cutoffs the next, and a maxi dress for special occasions. For her birthday, Julie wears a colorful maxi dress and a big sun hat for protection from the bright Californian, California sun. Julie is delighted to have a lava lamp for her room. Lava lamps are filled with colored liquid and wax. When the lamp is switched on, the wax melts and moves in the liquid. The effect is psychedelic and perfect for parties and sleepovers. Mood rings change color based on the temperature of the wearer's skin, and they were said to reveal a person's mood. On her birthday, Julie's ring was green and blue. No doubt she was feeling happy and relaxed. I used to have a mood ring. Um, I got it after I saw the movie My Girl. I was like obsessed with that movie. And um, I, I loved my mood ring. Uh, pet rocks were a huge fad in 1975. For a girl like Julie, who couldn't keep a real pet in her city apartment, a pet rock seemed like the next best thing, even if it was mostly just for laughs. In Julie's time, girls liked using magic eight balls to tell their fortune. Another popular activity at parties and sleepovers. Girls today still have fun with magic eight balls and mood rings. I also had a magic eight ball. For some reason, I thought the magic eight ball was came out in the 80s, but now I'm learning it was before. That's pretty cool. So anyways, um, there she is again wearing her birthday dress. So I like how they're doing these little pamphlets. That's kind of cool. So I love this outfit. I'm glad it came today. I, it's getting late, so I think I'm probably just going to like do the start with the wrapping of the gifts tomorrow. And that's about it. We just had leftover lasagna today and just watch some TV. Okay, I remember now what I was going to talk about as well today. Um, great news. I have continuously, like at least once a week, I've been checking into Canada Post and whether delivery 
um, to Nicaragua has resumed or not. And I am happy to report that they are now back to shipping to Nicaragua. Yay! So that means I can finally ship out Francely's birthday gift. Um, it's super late, I know, but I couldn't help it. Like, they literally had no service going there. Um, but that also means I can also send out her Christmas gift. It will also get there late just because Christmas is only like two weeks away now. And I'm pretty sure at this point in time, the offices are closed there. So even if it's by some miracle arrived before Christmas, um, it would not be processed in time for her to get it for Christmas. So it's going to get there late regardless, um, but better late than never. I'm just happy that they've resumed shipping there. So I think um, tonight I'm going to look through um, what I have because uh, I have like a little drawer that, you know, periodically I will purchase things that I might want to send to her. And I just kind of have a drawer on hand that I can just kind of grab stuff from. And um, so I'm going to see what I have in there and get whatever I want to send her for Christmas. And then I will show you guys before I send it what I'm sending for Christmas. Um, and then I'll get that in the mail hopefully this week. So like I will, I'll probably get it in the mail maybe by Tuesday, I'm hoping at the latest. So um, I'm just happy. I'm, I'm happy I could finally send it. Um, so that's great. It's good news. So I think I'm just going to um, get ready to end this video. I'm going to do the advent calendar and the countdown and then get ready to sign off because there's really not much else um, to film today. And yesterday was a super long video with all the Christmas lights and everything. So I think um, we'll do that. Oh, before I open this advent calendar, I'm really excited about something I just watched on YouTube. I just saw like the coolest video on YouTube. Um, I had heard a couple of people theorizing that Taylor Swift is going to be making a third album and basically this whole folklore Evermore thing is going to end up being a trilogy because she said that Evermore is a sister album to folklore and so fans are speculating there's going to be a third album. And at first I was like, I don't know. And some people are still not sure because apparently she did an interview yesterday where she said that she pretty much feels like she's um, had closure on that whole thing and is ready to like move on to other things. But she could just be saying that. I mean, she's tricked us before and... After watching this video, there's so many clues that really sound valid in that there might be a third album coming. And if that's true, I, <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. Um, basically, a lot of the merchandise she's been selling has been sold in sets of three. Like she had, I think she had, um, was it like hair scrunchies I think it was hair scrunchies and it was a set of three and the colors were red blue and green I think and then there was um these other hair ties she sold that were also red blue and green and then people noted that her merch has been coming I showed you guys the the star confetti the star confetti is in three colors. Um, it's like a grayish color, a yellowish color, and then a turquoise color. And fans have noted that the color scheme for folklore was black and white or gray and white. Um, and this era, the tones are sort of in that like golden slash red tone kind of thing. And then people noted that um, the, the cardigan here, um, 
this one represent the black and white of folklore but then for Christmas, she released two limited edition cardigans that were different colors. And one, it was kind of that golden color and then the, the lines on it were red. And then the other one has green in it. And so everyone's like, what does that mean? And then people noted that in the Lover music video where they show the house in the Lover music video, there's rooms for every one of her albums that were up until that point, like including the Lover albums. So Debut, Fearless, Speak Now, um, Red, 1989, Reputation and Lover were all, there was rooms for all those houses. But then there was also two other empty rooms and one is kind of like um similar to the color schemes of evermore and the other one was black and white like folklore and people are like uh okay and then there's like a third room which has the door closed it's basically the door to the house and people noted that at the end of the new music video her and her boyfriend walk out the door and people are thinking that that means it's to be continued and that we might find out what's in the room behind the front door of the house and that that might signal a third album in this trilogy and honestly the theory like it, it's it makes absolute sense and people said that in pictures for the folklore album she actually wrote evermore in one of the pictures and then in another one there was the word what was it like wood um i forget it something wood something and it can be linked to like a town in Pennsylvania where she grew up, but it can also be linked to um, a place in the Lakes District in London, which she actually wrote a song like that's the bonus track on Folklore is the Lakes and it's about that. And so like everyone's like maybe that this word that they found in one of the pictures in Folklore is the title of the third album. So... Basically, now we just have to wait for her to post something that says not a lot going on at the moment. And the moment that we see a post like that, we're going to know. We're going to know it's it's real and it's happening and we can expect another album. So that's really exciting. Okay, moving along. Um, today we're opening number 13, which actually, hello, today is Taylor Swift's 31st birthday, December 13th. And I was thinking about it today and I'm like, I wonder why Elfie didn't decide to do that Taylor Swift setup today because it would have made more sense to have the Taylor Swift setup on Taylor Swift's birthday. But my theory is that Elfie wanted to have something Taylor Swift related for um, because we were celebrating my birthday yesterday, even though it wasn't my exact birthday, like we were having a birthday celebration. So she probably did it just because I'm a Swifty, but it would have made more sense to have it today on Taylor Swift's birthday, but whatever. Oh, oh, whoa. This one's just ready to fall right out. It is Santa's bag of toys. There's a teddy bear. There's a green car, there's a white present with a red bow, and, um, what's the blue thing supposed to be? Is that a ball? Let me know in the comments what you think the blue thing is supposed to be. But it is Santa's pack of toys. I'm going to put it under here and just wait, because right now, again, don't really have anywhere to put it. Um... But once we get, like, other pieces, then I can figure out, like, how to develop, like, a little scenery somewhere with it. But, uh, yeah, we're getting close to Christmas. All right, guys. There is 12 more days till Christmas. I can't believe it. 
Well, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing Julie's new outfit. And um, we will see you next time. Bye.